Welcome back, everyone. It is so great to see our friend, Gina Callahan, with the Columinati Foundation. Yes. Thank you so much for coming Thanks for in. having us. And please introduce the party yes. girl. Aww. So this is Jada, a.k.a. Jada Bug. She's kind of our Jada unofficial Bug. mascot. Yes. She's been here before. So, um... Yeah, we are excited. We're kicking off Project Puppy Week today. So it's like homecoming week, but okay. Project Naughty style. Okay, so, so, yeah. so what all does that involve? Okay, so Project Puppy is our biggest event of the year. Think like Project Runway for dogs, hence the dress. Okay, okay hence the um, dress. I don't normally dress her up. but <laughs> um, And so, yeah, we have Missouri State fashion students. They do custom outfits for the dogs. Oh, I love that. Um, we have 10 dogs that will be in the fashion show, and they're all up for adoption Okay. Um, with four different rescue groups. So, yeah, we kick off tonight. We have an award that we announced. Yeah, these are past years. Oh, look at that. How so, cute. Yeah. Tonight, um, so every day this week leading up to Project Puppy, um, the fashion show will be online. It's free for everybody. Oh, okay. okay. Um, on Saturday at 7 o'clock. So we'll be posting our link and, and all of that stuff but um it's virtual and we have a lot of people that are going to have watch parties kind of like a super bowl party mm -hmm. but project puppy project puppy. they could have your corn salsa there too. I, I was gonna say we got that some dishes perfect. that we just made yes. so okay. do the outfits come with the dogs when you adopt i'm a real <laughs> everything is negotiable you yeah. know what i mean we could probably work something out i feel out, like so. i'd want the outfit too yeah it, it could be a package <laughs> deal if that's what seals the deal because most okay. of the dogs in the show are um less adopted Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, we start actually, and then it's about a two month process before oh, wow. from when the designers first meet, they do measurements, we do final fittings. Like it's legit. It so is legit. Cool. legit. It's, it's a lot of fun. This is our 13th year. So, <laughs> oh, okay. And tell us a little bit more about Miss Jada. Over yeah. Here. So she's got a, a permanent tilt, but like, I think that's she so does. Cute. I know everybody thinks it's like she like, just does it. Yeah. She's just questioning everyone. Um, I don't blame so, her. <laughs> so she actually is my foster fail because I kept her. You oh. did? Okay. I did. Oh, so you know she's what? not up for adoption. I have to say, I just learned about a foster fail and I yeah. thought it was something totally different. I know. People Jeremy think the dog. Yes. It sounds bad, but it's actually it's, really it's good. It's very yeah. good. <laughs> it's positive. Well, it depends. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so foster fail is basically I failed, not my foster. Oh. So, right, right. Um, yeah. So I was fostering her and. Um, <sighs> and just couldn't let her go. So yeah. she she had a stroke last spring and so um, she didn't she actually didn't stand or walk for 10 days. Oh. Um, and was literally hour to hour. So uh. I keep telling my dogs I'm like so what Columinati does, we do vet help for families. Okay. Okay, so that's Thank all the you. money raised for Project Puppy. That's what it goes toward. Okay. And I keep telling my dogs, I'm like, you don't have to prove that we need this. Now, obviously, they can't <laughs> benefit, you know. Yeah. You don't have to go to that. The IRS length. doesn't yeah. appreciate that. But, but I'm like, I already believe in what we do. It's yeah. okay. Like, stop you know, trying to get a name at the vet or right. room yeah. named after you. Right, so, right. Anyway, so yeah. so Because that care can be really here, baby. expensive. Very. It, it is. And that's really what, kind of the niche we fill is, um, so we do non-routine care. You okay. know, our thing is, is you can plan for shots. You can, you can plan for everything you're supposed to. Right. Yeah. Nobody plans for, you know, a thousand dollar knee surgery yeah. or something. Right. Those things you just don't expect. And yeah. so yeah. that's kind of where we come in. Um, we offer financial assistance and um, kind of work through the vet and, and okay. all the checks get made out directly to the vet. Okay. The most we'll ever do is half, not a guarantee because you know, we get applications sometimes for eight thousand dollar hip surgeries wow. at NYU. Right. So, so, right. But at least you know it is something that we do try to fill some of that gap um, mm -hmm. and help people. And, and really, there's not a lot of resources. So, yeah. right, right. I mean, yeah. I have to say, right before we, my fiance and I moved out here, our dog was fed some human food, a lot of like very rich food. Yeah. So, you know, he yeah. could not stop going to the bathroom yeah. inside the house, which he never does. So right. then we had to like rush him off up. to the vet, and yeah. it was like $400. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. take such good care of you, but that one day we messed right. up. Right, you know? right, yeah. And just even, you know, cancer and, and yes. uh, just stuff that happens, you know. Right, um, just like humans. Absolutely, it, yeah. It, it happens yeah. out of the blue, and you're like, I was not planning for Like, I was not yeah. planning for this. I did not account for this, but this is where we're at. And a lot of times if they have a surgery, if they have something – then they're fine. Right. You know, it's not necessarily always a chronic situation. Mm -hmm. um, my first dog was, uh, he had ruptured a ligament, broke a bone $4,000 later, oh, but he was goodness. two. Aww. 
Right. I was 21, not a great time. Right. Yeah. But, you know, you get him the surgery and he's fine. So yeah, that's kind of where it started is I was like, there needs to be more there help. There needs to be more. Okay, mm -hmm. so quickly tell us yeah. one more time about your... Um, your VIP dinner yes. coming up. So we have um, Project Puppy all week. We'll be doing awards every day leading up to the event. Friday Check is right a there. VIP dinner. Um, we only have four tickets left. That oh. is in person at Gilardi's. They're amazing. Okay. We've got VIP packs. We've got some awesome stuff. There's an online auction for anybody to participate. Um, all of that information, of course, is on our website, projectpuppy.org. Um, and then Saturday will be um, Project Puppy, the fashion show, the event online. We'll have a YouTube link. Um, VIP gets to see it a day early. There ah. we go. Okay, one more time, projectpuppy.org. Yes. Get all the details. Yep. And thank you so much for Thanks joining for us having today. Us. Thank you. And Miss, Miss Jada. All right, you guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with a game of timepieces. Okay. So beautiful. I'm happy that you failed at this. Yeah. <laughs>